rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Justine Knight is presiding. This is case number 280 on the calendar in the matter of the state versus Castillo. Thank you. You all may be seated. We're here this morning for a pretrial conference to determine whether there is sufficient evidence against Victor Castillo, which will set this matter for trial. Mr. Castillo has been in county jail custody for the past 11 months, charged with practicing medicine without a valid license in the state of California. Mr. Castillo, how do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Prosecution, you may proceed. <clears throat> Mr. Castile, the evidence presented which launched our investigation on you is text messages sent by someone you administered medical care to stating you perform surgery on their spouse. Mr. Castile, are you a surgeon? No, I am not. No further questions. Counsel? Mr. Castillo, did you perform surgery on someone's spouse? Not, not exactly. If I did not help him, he would die. I only helped him to get air. And would you mind telling the court exactly how you help someone get air? Yes, um, well, Your Honor. Tired. This is the last one of the day, okay? Last it's one, done, you right? promise? Yes. You sure? We'll miss you. <laughs> um, you feeling muscly or you want to help out a little bit? Yeah. Uh, are you going to carry heavy. the couch all by yourself? I can get I it. Might get I think, it. No, all I by yourself? It. Yeah. No, no, no. Stop it. Stop, weak, it. stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'll get sure? it. Sure? It's pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah, I can. All right. I got it. Well, don't hurt yourself. Don't okay? worry. Yeah, just bend at your knees, right? All right. Yeah. Bend at your knees. Good. Okay, so you lift up a little bit and then. Oh, wow, that is okay. heavy. It's, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Now it's tilt it to the right. It's slipping. Wait, wait, wait. You tilt I don't it, think I have just it. Tilt it to the left. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tilt it. If you tilt it, it'll help. Tilt it to the right. Okay. I mean. Wait, wait, but my right? My left. My okay. left. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have it. It's heavy. Wait. It's slipping. It's slipping. Not getting enough air. Call 911. What is his name? Uh, Kevin. Kevin, my name is Dr. Castillo. I can help. You're a doctor? 911. 
Please hold. They put me on hold. They put me on... Uh, so are you a doctor? From the Philippines, I am. He is in serious danger. What's wrong with him? What, 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 what are you doing? If I do not help him, he will die. What? I can make it so that he'll be okay until the help arrives. Yeah, 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 okay. You must not tell them who helped you. I am not supposed to be here. One, one, state your emergency. Um, my, my, my husband, my husband, uh, a couch fell on my husband and he, he's not breathing. He's having trouble breathing. Your Honor, my client was acting in good faith as a good Samaritan. There is no evidence whatsoever that my client performed any medical procedure other than first aid care. Because of Mr. Castillo's quick actions, first responders found the gentleman in stable condition, allowing for rapid transport to a hospital. Furthermore, the witness statement from the gentleman in question is one of gratitude, thanking Mr. Castillo for his efforts. That is all. Thank you. That may be so, Your Honor, but I would like to direct your attention to photographic evidence showing proof that Mr. Castile was practicing medicine without a valid license, as well as signed prescription notes for his patients to cross over into Mexico for medical treatment. Mr. Castile, did you sign and administer prescription notes? In the Philippines, we are taught as doctors to help anyone that needs help, no matter what, no matter what. The American health system makes people suffer. Hey, neighbor, how you doing? Hey, did I see you yesterday? You live here or something? The storage manager, he lets me sleep there overnight. The storage manager lets you sleep over here overnight. Oh, you're homeless. Oh, hey man, it's okay. Well, you look pretty fly for a homeless guy. Let me help you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not a guy to refuse any help. So, what's your story? I immigrated here from the Philippines about 10 years ago. But before that, I was a physician for 15 years. Study as a doctor for 15 years in the Philippines? Yes, I had many, many patients. But here in America, the transfer process is very difficult. Tests, medical residency, it is not easy. And you're living here in a storage unit? My ex-wife, uh, after our divorce, um, she took both my children, the home, the last exam has not been easy. It's the same your transfer isn't easier. We need more doctors here in the States. How long has your eyes been yellow? Uh, it's been three days now. Uh, have you been experiencing a, a loss of appetite? Yeah. What about vomit? Yeah? What do you think it is, Doc? I mean, I'm tired all the time. I have joint pain. I just got over a fever. I thought it was because I just overworked myself with school and work. That or I could have caught something from one of the patients at the clinic. Patient? Uh, well, the doctor's patients. I'm a medical assistant at an emergency clinic. I think, uh, I think you may have hepatitis. Uh, have you not been vaccinated? We were only required to get hepatitis B vaccine. And my Obamacare doesn't even take effect until 2014. Mm. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> I can lose my job. OK, OK. Uh, there must be some way, some way you can get the medications. Because if you do not, you could die. Or worse, you could infect other people. I can't get the medications without a prescription. I know. I got a friend. He's going to Mexico next week. Would you write me a prescription? Oh, wait a minute. I, I told you, I'm still taking the transfer exams. I am not a doctor here. I cannot write prescriptions. Not here, for Mexico. I don't know. Yeah, what? In Mexico, 
it works. Tijuana, they don't check doctor's prescriptions. Are you sure? Yes, please help me. Okay, um, but only for you. I have a prescription booklet. I have to find it, so you'll have to come back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, well, okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Oh. All right, thanks, man. <laughs> Hey, Dr. Castillo. Doc? Tom, I... I see you brought company. Yeah, I hope that's cool. These are my friends. It's Carlos, the guy I told you about. This is Catherine. Hi, doctor. Cystic acne, yes? Yes, um, insurance denied me. They said it was a pre-existing condition, but I hear they have stronger medications in Mexico for cheap. Do not worry. We will take care of you. And this is Frank. He was hurt at work. This work runs comp company. They're not responding fast enough to cover all the treatments I need. My insurance, of course, isn't going to cover it because it's a workman's comp issue. It doesn't help me get medication. It is okay. I can help. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Castillo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Julie, what is it? Unbelievable. I gotta call the medical board about this. Steel, you're under arrest for practicing medicine without a license. Put your arms behind your back. You have the right to remain silent. The prosecution has no further witnesses or evidence. Does the defense? No, Your Honor. I believe Mr. Castillo's testimony confirms that once again he was not practicing medicine in the state of California nor the United States. My client has been incarcerated for the past 11 months of his life in the county jail awaiting this hearing. And I request that he be released on the basis of insufficient evidence to bring this case to trial. Thank you. Thank you, counsel. If there's nothing further, I've heard the evidence. Healthcare matters have long been debated in our country, creating peculiar circumstances leading to desperate measures for millions of our citizens. We are not here today to support or refute health care policy, Affordable Care Act, or medical insurance policies. At this pre-trial, I am not here as a hero or a villain. My role is to be just, and to uphold the law as it pertains to improper medical practices. In my ruling, I find that there is sufficient evidence showing that Mr. Castillo violated California law of practicing medicine without a license. This matter has now been set for trial. Bailiff, 
please remand the defendant into custody.